curio bot. Hey guys, today we're trying Love is Dead, requested by James Denim on Patreon. Getting back in the rhythm of things after doing all those marathon bundle let's tries. Between that and the backlog of other self-driven ones I did for, but there are, I'm, I'm actually like, oh god, am I gonna run out of a month before I do all the Patreon ones? I gotta plan better. You get to pick a color. Somehow. It, arrow key? Okay. I was like, it's like, where's the, where's the button? How, how do? Purple. Him. Continue. Oh. Well, I, you didn't ask me if I was that or not. <laughs> Surprise. Yellow. Define? Oh, so you, I think it's so you can type anything in. Okay. She's a zombie too. My God. What are we gonna do? Gather round, kids. I've got a story to share, and I promise this one's got a happily ever after. It's a story about how everyone in the world died, and about a family so loving, not even the apocalypse could split them up. Now, these folks and their pets were inseparable. They were always found together. Apple picking together, roller coasters together, adrenaline junkies, uh, together. Whole happy family, incomplete without their pets. Dog face, goodest of dogs. Cat face, eater of bugs. Life was good, and then... Well, oh God. It was less good. I know what you're thinking. This ain't a happily ever after. Well, the second those two died, whole world turned to zombies. Lucky for our heroes, unlucky for most everyone else. Not that our dead lovers would know, all dead and buried like they were. Now most zombies are simply brainless, but these two, they were just too in love when they died. The pink matter in their brains stayed intact. Usually that stuff goes first. Our newly undead lovers burst forth, grateful for not being cremated. They found themselves not quite alive and not quite together. Where were Dogface and Catface? If their pets were zombies, there was only one place they could be, the pet cemetery at the other end of the graveyard. Together, our lovers set forth into a new and dangerous world. They would find their pets. Everything else, they all just cartoonishly died. Nice detail of the cutscene changing the color to whatever, uh, whatever you picked. Even the loading screen customizes. That's neat. Okay. Uh, I hope that I hope the pets aren't dead. I hope they escaped the falling. Bus, apparently. Loading many bites. I saw her standing there. I saw her standing there. How does game work? Is it a devil dig? I guess it's just walk into her. Yeah. But then she was a zombie. It was easy to get separated in that huge graveyard. Oh. My god. Okay. We'll figure it out. There we go. They'd have to stick together. Oh, it's a pancake. A cat and dog. That's a plate with a pancake. I thought it was just like a giant egg. The graveyard wasn't just big. It was dangerous. Okay, so each mission we just need to find each other. 
And I guess you can play it in local co-op so you can have the other person also running around and you're trying to meet each other. So presumably it gets hard to even get halfway across the map eventually. Or some other difficulties come up. Maybe, like maybe having to solve, probably have to solve puzzles to do anything uh, at some point. Those two cuties had no idea what they were in for. Level complete. Aww. The apocalypse begins. The dogs are learning to use tools. Soon they will be the overlords. I guess that's why the zombie outbreak happened. Hit pretty hard. Do these go away when I step on them? Yep. That's what I thought skulls might do. Maybe the zombie outbreak was released just to stop dogs from taking over the world. Now they've learned how to use tools. Head cannon. That place was falling apart. Lots of things, even the dirt and stones, got mutated and corrupted. Hello. What does red do? Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh! If you hit any of the red skulls, it causes a chain reaction across all of the skulls. That's not good. <laughs> Seem to be in a hurry at that point. All connected red skulls will eventually fall once you step on any of them. Okay. Rip. They had to learn quick how all the pieces of this world worked. Yeah, apparently. It was confusing. Sometimes downright scary. Can I switch which one I'm controlling? Um Yeah, I mean, it's there. I figure I should get the collectible each time. That was a little stressful. We're gonna have to be in a hurry here. Go, 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 go. Fortunately, pancakes had never been more plentiful. Oh, there was a platform in the top right, wasn't there? I may have made a mistake. There might have been another photo there. So I guess pancakes are like the star rating. That's how you get like the proper score, but there's also photographs? Is that- was the photograph listed back here? Yeah. Three pancakes and a photo. I think that top right corner might have had a photograph in it. Which seemed- they, they might be less a score, but also but more like a- had to cooperate to get by. Just a nice little thing to, sit, to enjoy. Get a good little, little drawing. Alright, so now I need to control both characters. What do these do? Okay, so you can toggle the eyeballs. Ah. Don't get off of it. So it's a it's a held button. Gotcha. So suddenly there's a whole lot more for player two to be doing, if there is one. There we go. I never saw two folks who worked better together. With so many ghosts, they had to be extra careful where they step. Nope, there's the photo up there. What am I gonna do? Uh. <laughs> Get past the ghost. What did the ghosts. What did we do to piss off the ghosts? Why don't they like us? Also, there's ghosts and zombies. Like, this world is getting dense with the supernatural. Are the ghosts the people that got cremated? <laughs> 
<clears throat> is that how this works? I think of the Doctor Who episode that featured an artificial afterlife. And how it only worked if you had a body. So people who got cremated very abruptly had some bad news coming their way. Like, oh, welcome to heaven and cremation. And they just burst into flame screaming and vanish from the afterlife. And it's like, oh, Jesus. It was all too easy to let a stray ghost kill you again. It wasn't real, though. You ever get that feeling of being watched? You ever get that feeling of being watched? You ever get that feeling you're stepping directly onto an, an unprotected eyeball? An eyeball? Oh, shit. There's a lot going on here. Ha ha! Hoo hoo! Ha ha! Oh, some advanced ghost dodging. If I do say so myself, which I did, and you can't stop me. You can't argue with me, you're not in the video. Ha! Checkmate. Oh, the eyeball button doesn't work. Oh. Okay, so sometimes the eyeball button is a toggle. Where you delete it, essentially, by stepping on it. Well. That complicates things a bit. I'm coming! Those and I've got a pancake. You know, because the ground was literally made of ice. You might be confused, but the reason here that zombies love pancakes. It's weird I have to explain that to you, it should be obvious, honestly. Ball is here. This game's pleasant. This actually probably is a pretty reasonable couples game. Play it a chill thing. The lovers were the only nice zombies in these parts. Oh, we're introducing the zombie villains. Uh oh, <laughs> my first death. That zombie did not. I thought they might go back and forth. Oh god. There's actually a lot of moving pieces right now all of a sudden. It's like a situation where it's so easy to get to your lover if that's all you want to do. But pancakes! Pancakes with a massive block of unmelted butter on them. That, that's too much butter. That's, that's why I didn't recognize it as a pancake at first. It's too abstract. Like why? I was like, why would a, why would the butter look like that? Oh no! That is a bit of a problem. Wait, I might have a solution for this. Haha! <laughs> okay. That's good. Oh, ghost. I looked at the level design and I thought, there's no way to slip past these zombies. It's completely undoable. That means I must be able to defeat the zombies. Our lovers found ways to out trick them. Not to say mean zombies were easy to deal with. Hello, strange bush. What's what's your deal? Why are you like this? Oh god, they're, they're trying to trick me. They're trying to they're trying to confuse me with their strange ghost parabolas. <gasps> okay. <laughs> uh, why is there skulls there? What are those supposed to do? Zombie cometh. Oh, oh, damn it. My pancake. I must commit zombie side. K. 
can't lose the pancake. That's that's illegal. I almost died right there. There are a lot of moving parts at once right now. This quickly gets really complicated. Huh. Ooh, I thought I wasn't gonna make it. Oh, 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 oh I'm getting, I'm playing too risky. Two cuties had the power of love. You just... We just had like a country singer sing... The power of love. That's the power of love. Hats? Is that the boss fight level? Or is it a side level? I feel like that's a side level, but that's pets, right? Like, we're trying to save the pets. The world wasn't all ghosts and zombies. Catch them pancake deer. What? There are pancake deer? Also, so easy to catch. Like so easy to catch. Delicious. I'll tell you later while the world's filled with pancakes. Will you now? Green Meadow Graveyard. That's the whole level. <laughs> I got. I mean, that's that's the usual. You get three pancakes, you win. Sometimes you need a bit of elbow grease to push on through. Please, please move. And I guess those would block zombie paths? Okay. Can I push them off the cliff? Why can't I push them off the cliff? That seems like a mistake. Can I push these? No. Oh, you can push this one. Oh, bye everybody. Or body tube grease or, or whatever. Ew. We don't have elbows. Ew. Ah. Ah. Careful. What? What? Sometimes the world trick them if they dove in too fast. Are these not metaphor? Oh, no. I thought these were metaphorical representations of the characters. They're actually tube people. Why are they like that? Don't do that to them. That's just not nice to do to people. Don't make them tubes. I can't believe I have to explain this, but don't make them tubes. Yaha! Yaha! I'm trapping them in a smaller and smaller space. Yaha! Maximum trapped. Look at this graph. Get closer. You have to be very careful where you leave your characters because they can get eaten. Left in the wrong spot. Oh. This button was permanent. That means the other one's probably permanent, too. And the only person who can reach is the yellow one. Okay. We just switch to yellow, and yellow needs to get the pancake first. The completionism takes some planning here. There are cases where you can permanently lose access to the to the goal. Much careful. Okay. Oh, careful. Yeah, because the way that that's placed, you could not do that.
This is an unnecessary component, but I, it's amusing. Be a dick. Aha! Now I've got the photo. Now yellow needs to go press the button. There's also a permanent one. There we go. And now they can meet. Running ahead is good, but using your head is better. Heads can't run. Silly. They could go right ahead. This place was safe enough. Hmm. I find myself being curious of what these uh, red skull platforms are for, like how they affect anything. This seems like a contradiction. What am I missing here? Huh. There's weird stuff happening. First of all, on the bottom and the right of the screen, there are heart platforms that are just sitting there in the middle of the room. I guess they might change the direction a zombie is moving in? That's probably the goal. But like, how do I get here? That pancake's on a floating platform I can't get to. I'm not clear on what's going on in this map. What happens when a ghost hits a statue? Nothing. Statue on platform? Doesn't even rotate the statue. So like, I need to break that white skull. How? Uh, do the, can the red skulls somehow take care of the white skull? I don't think so. Yeah, the chain reaction is only for continuous, contiguous red skulls. That was certainly a choice. <laughs> Completely out of nowhere, there's a freaking bullet bill that destroys the level around you. What? I guess that explains why the level made no sense. There was no way to get the pancake because there was no way to get the pancake. Period. It was completely inaccessible for reasons that were not clear because an entirely new mechanic was about to be introduced. I figured as much, but I thought the new mechanic was that I had to figure out some interaction that would let me proceed, like in Steven Sausage Roll, but instead, just something batshit was about to happen. Alright. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hey, I got every single pancake. And I think I've missed one photo. Well, that was an easy drawing. <laughs> Alright guys, well this is Love is Dead. Thank you to the developer for sending me a code so I could preview their game. If you want to check this game out, there's a link to its Steam page in the description. Thanks for watching like always guys, and I'll see you next time.